Okay, Zabbix Sender and Trapper. Zabbix Sender is a command line utility for sending data to the Zabbix server. And you can send it via the proxy also if you need. Now, Trapper in regards to Zabbix Sender is not the same as SNMP Trapper, although it is listening or incoming messages on the Zabbix server. Okay, also to use Zabbix Sender, you don't have to install Zabbix Server or Proxy or an agent on the same operating system where you're going to run it, but you do need to make sure you have the correct version for your operating system. So for example, I'm going to run Zabbix Sender from my Ubuntu host, which was Ubuntu 20.04, and I'm going to be sending to a Zabbix 6 Zabbix server. So they'd be the commands that I would install on my host where I was going to run Zabbix Sender. Now for this, I'm going to use my host A, which is on the same network as my Zabbix server. And that happens to be in Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, so I've installed Zabbix Agent on it, and that's okay, and that's working fine. But I don't have the Zabbix Sender executable, so I'm just going to add that. So apt install Zabbix Sender. Okay, and I can test it works hyphen h and there we go there's some examples there remember if you're using tls or tsk you'll need to use those options as well anyway there's some more information here about it utility for sending monitoring data to zabbix server or proxy okay so before i can use the zabbix sender just to send some data to my zabbix server i need to make sure i have a trapper item on my zabbix host Okay, so on the Zabbix server UI, for my host A, so configuration hosts, host A, I'm going to create a new item. And for this example, I'm going to call it just RND, just short for random. It's going to be a type of Zabbix trapper there. So not SNMP trap, but Zabbix trapper. And the key to, I'm just going to use the same word, RND, numeric unsigned. I'm just going to send random numbers to my host a rnd item okay that is all i need so add that okay so scrolling down page two i have a new item there called rnd which is a zabbix trapper so back on my host a zabbix sender the z parameter for my zabbix server which is going to be either host name or the ip since it's on the same network I could use the internal IP there of 13304, copy that, or I could even use the domain name, but that's good enough. 113304, that's pointing to my Zabbix server from the perspective of my host A. Okay, the host, which is using the S flag there, will be host A there. So it's the name host A there. Cancel. So host A, I'm just going to put that in inverted commas. The key, so hyphen K, will be RND. That's the name of the item that I just created and a value. So O, any number I like, I'm just doing a test right now. One, two, three. Okay. So I said processed one, which is good. Failed zero. When you're learning, you're likely to get a lot of failed, but keep working at it until you get a processed equals one. Okay. Total one seconds is that quick anyway. So sent one, skip zero, total one. If I go into Zabbix again and look at latest data for my host A and find R&D, there it is there. There's a value one, two, three. So if I look at the graph, there's a line at one, two, three, even for the last five minutes. Let's do another one. I do 45 and then do another one, 150, for example. If I update that, we can see there are extra values there in the graph. Okay, so really that's it. You just create an item on your host. You define the type of information it is, whether it's an unsigned int, float, text, or character, then you can send the data to your Zabbix server anytime you like. Now, you can also use scripting languages to do this. And in the past, I've used C Sharp, Java, Node.js, and also Python. I'm going to do a real quick Python example for you using this. It's just going to send random numbers to this host A item once a second. So on host A, I'm going to create a new file. So sudo nano, and I'm going to call it rnd.py. Enter. In that, I'm going to copy this script. Okay, it's just generating a random number between 0 and 100. That's the command that is creating Zabbix sender. I'm going to use the IP address of my Zabbix server, which is 10.133.0.4. The host was host hyphen A. The key was RND, and the O is whatever the random number was. RND, just there. Okay, I'm printing the command to the screen, but then I'm executing that command using the way you do that, using Python, subprocess, process open. 
Okay, and then I just sleep for one second. Okay, the while loop there means just continue forever while this program is running. So control X to save. Yes. Now I can run that. I'm using Python 3 on this server. rnd.py. Okay, so once a second, it's running this command, a Zabbix sender. So for example, there, running a command, Zabbix sender. And it's saying processed one failed zero so that's what i'm looking for now back into zabbix last five minutes you can see random numbers lots of them coming through now so perhaps you have a need for logging statistics and you just want to send that data directly to zabbix without installing an agent and setting up user to find parameters or anything like that you can just send data directly to zabbix using zabbix sender and if i zoom into that there we go it looks like that that's zabbix sender excellent